Hi everyone, thanks for joining us here on the Geek Deck Industries live stream. Welcome to the Geek Deck channel once again. We got a lot to talk about before we actually get into our first game. I know, I know. There's, there's new happenings, happenings everywhere, and one of those happenings is right in front of us. My, what is that on the center of the table, there, uh, Stickus? I don't know. It looks like a crock to me. It is a crock. Oh, that's oh. A, that joke will get so old so, so fast. fast. Oh god, it's already get old. it in while you can. <laughs> Uh, pun Jay early. Jay Patero beat us, or, beat us to it earlier, he but did. it was coming anyway. Thanks for that, Jay. Yeah. So as you can see here, we got the Sea Rock Cruiser. So Bally managed to get his hands, his greasy little paws, on one of these beautiful babies. Sometimes you got to act quick. Yep. Quick. So it is a gorgeous ship. We haven't even taken that out of the box yet, and I'm already in love with the look and, and uh, texture of this ship. It's fantastic. Are you kidding me? I'm not oh. kidding you. Oh, he's going to let me open it? This is great. You know why I'm going to let you open it? Why? You know it's really early? You know it's really far away, but not that far? What's that? Your birthday is coming up in oh, a couple of months. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So, Surprise. uh... Happy <laughs> early birthday, my brother. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. This is a prank. Nope. No prank. Are no. you fucking kidding me? For reals. Wait until right Mother now to tell you. <laughs> This is oh, your Sea Rock Cruiser. Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart's exploding. This is your Sea Rock Cruiser. Uh, the only reason I told you about it at all earlier today was to make sure that you hadn't already managed to go out and buy one for yourself. No, I, I or was, we're going to I be was holding today. Off. I was holding off. You couldn't so. today, so, so here you go. <sighs> Happy, rather early birthday present. Wow. Thanks, guy. You're welcome. Uh, wow. You're way more excited <laughs> for this thing than I am. I, whatever. It's a Sea Rock Cruiser. Yes, it's a beautiful ship. But I don't really like Skikes. I'm not at all excited for the Light Psych. Um, yeah. God, thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, my buddy. God. So, okay, I get to open a brand new this is your and amazing Sea <laughs> Rock Cruiser. This is this is awesome. All right, so let's let's get this plastic. Surprise! Okay. Happy birthday! Uh, happy yay! really early it's birthday. It's like a month and a half away. Half away. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what? Now you don't have to worry, you know, like, dude. You you got like early gifted like hardcore here. On my birthday, uh -huh. you gave me something that took a little over two months to get to use. On your birthday, I'm giving you something that's well a little over two months from or a little under two months from your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the stuff. Of course, there's the box. We'll okay. give you the box later. Let's. Uh, Flash the box up at the ooh, camera. Ooh, shiny, There's shiny the, box. Mmm, shiny box. box. All right, yeah. so so we'll take that. You know what? No, no I'm, I'm going to take that out in a minute. We'll look at it in a minute. We'll look at all of the rest of the bits here first. So, oh, yes. Oh, yes. So the new pilots, of course, the new pilots. We got uh, Genesis Red, who uh, I think is going to become my favorite. Probably. Um, Quinn Jast, Inaldra, and Sunny Bounder. Just, that's such a great name. I just like saying it. Sunny Bounds. Unique, one skill pilot. Yep. Love it. Yep. So, ooh, some new debris. It looks like some cargo. Uh, there, of course, is the movement template. Oh, look, all of those illicit tokens for, to go with yep. Java. Yep. Well, you gotta uh, have some a Some energy, lot. some no shoot, no, no, uh, no shot tokens. So there's obviously something involved there. Of course, you get your uh, dial uh, indicators here for the Sea Rock. And for the Psyche, uh, of course, we get one dial for the Sea Rock and one dial for the M3A. Uh, there you can see the so many more moves on the M3A. Surprising, I know. Yeah. So it uh, looks like some interesting new tokens, some tracker tokens with some fancy. I would imagine those. Those are binders, I think, like like cuffs. Yeah, I would yeah, imagine so those have go. to do with some of the unique. Yeah. Uh, huge ship so, upgrades. So some shields, the reinforce, an evade, and a focus. So some good stuff there. Uh, looks like you get two more Tansory Point and two more tar uh, Cartel Spacers. Uh, and then, of course, the Sea Rock Cruiser itself. So we'll look at that again in a bit. There, of course, you get your double large bases and some more of the extra tall stands there. That's good because uh, I broke one for my... GR75. <coughs> They're just so fragile. They're yeah. so fragile, you know? All right, so then we got... Holy, look at this stack 
Look at this stack of small cards. Now, probably half that Almost, is the damage deck. Uh, well, a lot of that, yeah. There we go. So, yeah, there's the damage deck. You got, of course, a uh, four and an aft damage deck for the Sea Rock before it goes down. All right, so we got, looks like some cannons to start. Four, five, five, count them, arc charge or arc casters. Yep. The double sided four mm -hmm. attack uh, weapon that uh, you need to spend a full turn in recharging. It's amongst the only so. cards in this entire set that I personally was really excited for. The arc, the arc caster has some potential, especially against other swarms. Against the swarm, yeah. yeah. And then we're into crew. So the first one we got is As Morrigan. What an asshole. Yeah, this guy's such an asshole. It's getting closer. There you go. Oh, yeah. But he is useful. So huge chip only, scum only. At the start of your end phase, you may spend one energy to replace a face up crew or uh, team card uh, you have equipped with another upgrade card of the same type of equal or fewer squad points. Oh, so you could use As Morgan to swap Jabba, for example, then. Mm. Remember, I was saying, oh, use Sitra uh, Strago. Yes. No, use him instead. Good. All right. So, uh, and then you got Citraco Visago, mm. scum only, but he's not large ship, so no uh, huge ship, so no, uh, no worry there. At the start of the end phase, you may discard this card to replace a face-up illicit or cargo upgrade card you have equipped with another upgrade card of the same type of fewer or equal or, or equal or fewer squad points. So, yeah. does the same thing as As Morgan, but with a different upgrade, and he's not limited to huge ships only. And lots of potential with him. Yep. <clears throat> Being able to swap out something. Yep. So then we have Jabba the Hut, Big old fat slug. Uh, two crew slots. Because he's just so fat. Yep. Uh, five points. Uh, unique. When you equip this card, place one illicit token on each illicit upgrade card in your squad. When you are instructed to discard an uh, upgrade card, you may discard one illicit token on that card instead. And Bally and I were talking about him earlier yeah, and came up with some interesting ideas, but he is expensive and big. He is very restricted. There is only two scum ships that you can actually fit him on. Yep. Those are, of course, the Sea Rock Cruiser he himself comes with and the YV-666. Mm -hmm. It's the only other ship that has two crew slots on it. Yep. It's got three, so you can fit him on there. That's the only way you're going to get him into a non-epic game. And that's going to cost you a fair number of points to put that ship on. But the it is. Uh, but it go, again, it doubles your illicit your, usage. Your, yes. So of a usable illicit, you're going to need to to really get any actual economy out of him. You need to put another ship or two on the field with illicits. Now, where he would really shine, and why they give you so many tokens in the token set, is in an epic game. You could have a whole slew of smaller ships escorting the Sea Rock mm -hmm. with a whole slew of illicits. Mm -hmm. Just wait until that scum Elites comes out and you get the titles for the Karaz Starfighter. Oh, Lord, that's going to be nasty. Yep. Double glitter stimmed Karaz Starfighter squadron come rolling in. That'll be beautiful with three <laughs> modifications each. and Oh, that'll be tasty. Yep. All right. So next card in the Jabba. stack here, we have the heavy laser turret for the Sea Rock only. Uh, spend two energy, and it's a four dice attack. You have attack energy. So spend two energy from this card to perform this attack against one ship, even a ship outside your firing arc, of course, because it's a turret. Yeah. So that's kind of handy. It's got uh, range two to three, so you got a blind spot at range one. Fine, most folks don't want to be at range one to get anyway because you could very likely turn into them yeah. and blow them up. Destroy them so outright. Let's, yeah, don't want to have that happen. Uh, and then there's a team card, and I looked at this and I thought it was crew at first, and then I saw the icon and got a little sad. It's the IGRM Thug Droids, uh, which allow you to turn a hit into a crit when you attack. Just straight up. One point. When attacking, you may change one of your hit results into a crit. Nothing to go wrong with there if you're firing with that big heavy laser turret. Darn right, right. Uh, next one is quick release cargo locks. Oh, there you go. Which uh, is for the C Rock and GR seventy five only. Uh, it's limited, which means of course only one per ship. At the end of the activation phase, you may discard this card to place one container token, which I'm assuming 
came it's with that fancy set. looking yep. uh, debris that they have in there. Probably. Uh, supercharged power cells. You get two of them. Uh, they are limited. Uh, three point cargo. When attacking, you may discard this card to roll two additional attack dice. Bam. That'll be nice. Two additional attack dice and a hit into a crit. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is it scum only? Ska, it is limited. Limited. So it is and not, but it is not scum ship, only. But so. it's not scum only. You can put that Ooh. onto. Uh, that could be uh, brutal. Onto the Tantive or yep, whatever. That could be brutal on the Tantive or the uh, Raider. Uh, the Raider. Yeah. I just wonder why there isn't two. Oh. You know we have to discard them. You know we haven't said anything. We have another voice in the. You know we haven't said anything, Stickus. We do have another voice in the background. Oh yeah. Um. So. (laughs) We got so excited about the sea rock. Excited about the sea rock. Forgot to mention that uh, the other red five here is is here to join us as well. Hello. We've been hearing him. We've been just talking and conversing with him. So. Without having introduced him. He's here to uh, have a couple of games and uh, talk some things about the Stardust series and show off some amazing new things that are. uh, uh, up for grabs so uh, we'll but that. we'll get to that in a minute so next up is the pulsed ray shield which is going to be awesome i'm really looking forward to seeing this on uh the sykes uh to seeing this on the k fighter uh and to seeing this uh on the uh star viper i think this is going to be a lot of fun i think we're going to see a lot of people doing a lot of awesome fun uh, stuff with it valley pointed out to me something earlier with this that blew my effing mind. Which one are we talking about? Pulse Ratio. Yes, the Pulse Ratio. So, Pulse Ratio has a very interesting restriction in that it can only be put on ships that have exactly one shield as their maximum value. So there's not many ships you can actually put it on. One of them is, of course, the M3A Interceptor. Well, the M3A Interceptor's slowest forward maneuver is a forward two. It's got mm-hmm. some bank ones or turn ones or something, ba- bank and turn, but it, yeah. it doesn't have a forward one. Well, you can actually voluntarily take an ion token to restrict yourself to a forward one movement on the next turn. And my mind at the time exploded. You're not just regenerating shields. You're actually enabling an interceptor to slow roll. Do you have to be missing a shield in order to act? Ooh, that's a good question. It doesn't question. say that you do. It just says recover a shield up to your maximum shield value. So... Can you recover a shield and it just dissipate into nowhere? Can you spend a focus token to recover a shield on bigs up when you don't your have full value? Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to FAQ. You're not that. gonna go up to two shields. We're gonna have to FAQ that, but that that could be a limiting factor on that. Uh, next up is a huge ship only modification: automated protocols. So uh, it once per round, after you perform an action that is not a recover or reinforce action. You may spend one energy to perform a free recover or reinforce action. So that lets you, uh, personally, I think that's fantastic. And I think it gives your large ships much more survivability. Now, of course, this is huge ship only, which means you can put it on any huge ship, which means the GR-75 or the Tantive or the Raider or the Gozanti or the the Sea Rock. Any of them are going to take advantage of that. Um... Next up, we have Optimized Generators, huge ship only modification. Once per round, uh, when you assign uh, energy to an equipped upgrade card, gain two energy. So when you spend some energy, you gain a couple of energy. All right. Uh, Oh, now we're into some of the psych upgrades. So you get another uh, heavy psych title. You get one, two, three, four, five, Six. six light skikes. Six. Six. Oh god, I need so more, so many more psychs now. And I put together a psych swarm list earlier just for fun in my in one of my list builders, and it's got six psychs, and three of the, <laughs> or sorry, four of them are light psychs, two of them are heavies. Yep. So I mean, you could probably do seven psychs if you wanted to go with more lights. Yep. You, you can do or eight. You yeah. can do an eight psych swarm if with have, nothing on. If you have six but, lights yeah. and then two that are not, it's exactly the same. Nice. Nice. All right, so now we get into the actual Sea Rock titles. Uh, we have Broken Horn, five points, Sea Rock Cruiser only, adds two energy, so that's nice. Um, when defending, if you have a reinforced token, you may add one additional uh, evade result. If you do, after defending, discard your reinforced token. So you can basically spend your uh, uh, reinforced token to get an additional evade result and soak a little less damage. That's pretty sweet. 
Especially if it's the last attack coming at you in the round. Fantastic against, yeah, exactly, yeah. the last attack or a really big attack yeah. and you're not going to get a much, uh, much more against you. Uh, we have the Insatiable Wart. That's as Morgan's ship. So, of course, the Broken Horn being Fizago's ship. Um, after you perform the Recover action, you can gain three energy. Uh, so the Insatiable Wart, however, is minus one energy for you. So um, it's nice that when you get... Uh, the recover action you gain three energy but it does start you with less and then merchant one right there there you go uh, good old merchant one merchant one now i think this one was spoiled before so your upgrade bar gains one additional upgrade icon or uh sorry one additional crew and one additional team Glenn. yes dear Turn so that one off for now. Off there, you go. there, try a card there. How about now? Can you guys see it now? It's better. It might be a little blurry because it, it has be trouble legible, focusing but... that close. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, well, something to think about next time because now we're almost out of cards. All right. And then we have, of course, the actual ship cards, the uh, Sea Rock Cruiser there. Just, uh, whoop, there he is. There he is. Uh, now, and then the Sykes. Uh, top of the stack, Genesis Red. 19 points for a Pilot Skill 7. Uh, of course, just a standard psych with an EPT. After you acquire a target lock, assign focus and evade tokens to your ship until you have the same number of each token as the locked ship. I love it. That's great. That's great against uh, um, high um, uh, action economy aces and stuff. So, Good Well, yes that. and no. His pilot skill is only seven, so some aces are going to be higher than that, and their action economy won't trigger until after he gets his opportunity to take the target lock. So you need to target lock someone who's already taken their focus tokens and whatnot. Or have or a guy even higher on the stack. You could VI him up to nine. Yep. So next up, we got Quinn Jast. I think this is going to become a favorite of uh, Skype Flyers everywhere. Um, he already has a lot of love in my heart. So he's pilot skill six. At the start of the combat phase, you may receive a weapons disabled token to flip one of your discarded uh, torpedo or missile upgrade uh, cards face up. So you definitely want to equip him with that heavy sight title. Yep. Get him some munitions. Yep. And get him just keep shooting. He's the lead man in my yep. sight swarm I was just talking about. Uh, in Aldra. So a uh, pilot skill 3 unique. Uh, 15 points. When attacking or defending, you may spend a shield token uh, to reroll any number of your dice. Attacking or defending. Yep. Any number. So pulse ray shield. Pulse ray shield is oh, a yeah. given on this one. So given. Uh, and then my probably my favorite, my all time favorite, just because I love that there's a unique pilot skill one. Sunny Bounder. And what a happy name. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna get in your way and block you. It's fine. So <laughs> once per round, after you roll or or re-roll dice, you have the same result on each of your die. You may add one matching result. I like the idea of Heavy Skike and HLC on Sunny Bounder. Just hanging out at the end of the round, rolling that four dice attack. Oh, look at that four hits. Awesome. Deek. There's another. <clears throat> if you roll if four hits. Roll or re-roll. Or re-roll, but not modify two. So no. if you roll crits and then modify them down you, to you hits gotta have the some HLC, luck. it doesn't trigger it. you got to have some luck. Yeah, so. you got to roll. That it's, it's like most scum things. Yeah. It, it, there's luck. a lot of yeah. luck involved. It's right. well, so. probably better off with the light title. Just throwing in a list for 12 points. Sometimes you'll get three hits. Sometimes you'll get four hits. Yep. Most of all, it's just a blocker. Exactly. There's that. And you're always and you're you're um, gonna get a uh, uh, higher chance of uh, uh, good evades with him as well. So, all right. And then of course the last two pilots are the uh, cartel spacer. And the Tansory Point Veteran, I'm sure everybody's familiar with the generics for the Psych. If you're not already, go ahead and get a Psych already. Why haven't you got a Psych? Now, let's well, just slide all, all this aside here. 16 points of Tony I know, right? That's fantastic. So, and and now, let's get to the Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to turn the light back on so that we can see better. All right, I'm going to take it out of the plastic so there's less glare. Ooh. Got the little Ooh. Psych. Let's so let's take the, the Psych out psych first. first. I really like the paint. Um, I think that the sculpts and the paint on these ships have gotten so much better 
over the last few years. That's the Inaltra paint job? Uh, I think this is actually Quinn Jast. Quinn Jast? Uh, let me see. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, it appears... It looks like Quinn Jast to me. Ah. So it, if you guys want to ra uh, um, rein in on this, let us know. It could be... Ooh, Inaldra's... Uh, it's hard to tell because of her angle. It could be Inaldra. Maybe they share a paint job. It's not any of the others. It's not, is it? No. Well, it's definitely But there he is. Sony. I think that's a very cute little ship. He's so cute! All right. I'm going to leave him yeah. aside. All right. And then... Finally. The Piece de Resistance! God damn it. Come here. No, come out. Pop it's it's shy. Pop it the bottom. You think so? Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, at the back. There you go. Just keep tearing at it. All right, and there is the Sea Rock. <laughs> Great problem solving skills. And it is, is that, nope, it is fixed. That doesn't move. Fixed dish. Fixed dish on the bottom. Wow, a bunch of dishes. There's the laser turret. Yep. So, and of course, there's your posts. Ah, uh, there's. What's left of the docking clamps that from thing. its uh, Gozanti heritage. And uh, a bunch of containers there that go with the, uh, the new ability to drop your container tokens. And huge engines, huge engines. So I'm assuming that it's probably got a better dial than the uh, Gozanti. Uh, although really none of them have great dials, so we'll see how that goes. But I, it's a beautiful sculpt. Um, I wish you guys could see it up close. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's just a fantastic looking ship. It has the same dial as the, every epic ship in existence. They all pretty much do, don't they? They all pretty much do. Yeah. All right. So there you go. That is the Gozanti in a nutshell. Okay. Thanks for indulging us, folks. Now, um, while this is all getting put away. Yep. Uh, you have a thing you want to talk about. I have a thing I would like to talk about. I'm sure you... Probably earlier, some of you noticed that there was a link put in. Uh, it's in the description down below. It was in the chat, I believe. The link is for a place called AetherspaceGame.com. Go! Go now! Now, I was in the mood for downloading every list builder I could get my hands on on Android, and I stumbled across this one that in their About Us section, it's just called X-Wing List Builder, in their About Us section there was this link to Aetherspace Games. I took a look. And it was for a tactical, turn-based, ship-to-ship combat computer game. Uh, it looked great. I thought, cool. I followed it for a little while. They've since gone live on the Google Play Store and on the Apple App Store. I think that's what uh, they call it. The App Store? Yeah. App Store? I, I'm so not an Apple person anymore. Yeah, I so never really was, that. but I guess I was for a little while. But yeah, yeah bandwagon good. jumper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> it's I've tried it out. It's a lot of fun. I will admit, it's a little small on a phone-sized device, and uh, I've, I've spoken to the dev about it. He has agreed that it's a little small, and he's working on something to fix that. As of yet, there is no computer version fully available. He was trying to get on Steam, but Steam is Probably closed. Probably on Bluestacks. <laughs> Steam is closed off green light, so I can't uh, even direct you there to vote for it anymore. Although I was going to, but Steam just closed green light like two days ago. And they're like, oh, you like green light? Nah, brah. So that's out. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll see it coming up soon as a, as a game on Steam. But it is available on the App Store and on the Play Store. I would highly recommend checking it out. It's called Aether Space, A-E-T-H-E-R Space. Uh, the link is in the description down below. If you are a fan of this channel or of X-Wing in general, and if you like any form of computer gaming, this game is definitely yes, at least going to be interesting to you. Uh, it is definitely not a ripoff of X-Wing, but it is something that any X-Wing player would probably fall in love with. It's very complicated, to some degree. <laughs> anyway, it's a great game. I highly recommend it, and I'm done repeating myself. Are you sure? I'm not sure. It's a great game. I highly recommend it. 
The link is in the description down below. Okay, now I'm done repeating. Okay, myself. okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shameless well, plug ended. And, of course, we have Other Red 5 here. Other Red 5. To talk a little bit about the Stardust series. Stardust series? He's got some fine, uh, uh, shiny swag to show off. It's so be It's so pretty. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll start off with some of the things that were donated. Well, and just then, uh, uh, why don't you tell everybody what the Stardust series is if they haven't heard, heard us talk about it before. Okay, so uh, Stardust series is a charity gaming convention happening in Victoria, B.C. This, uh, this June on the 24th, which is a Saturday. Hurry up and get your tickets. Hurry up! Hurry I'm, up! You're going to run out of time! I'm sure that there will be a link placed in the description. There is a link to uh, the Stardust Series event in the description. You guys can go check it out right now. Oh, that's awesome. So, for uh, for general admission, you can come uh, come down, cosplay, take part in that contest, play board games all day, check out the vendors, and everything that you buy, everything, uh, including your ticket price, is going towards helping women in transition through the Victoria Women's Transition House Society. Uh, for those of you who, who aren't in the know, that means uh, women and their kids who are trying to escape uh, abusive homes. Uh, they run a shelter. We also have three different tournaments to offer. Uh, Magic the Gathering, a standard constructed tournament with draft and sealed events uh, ready upon interest and participation, as well as Infinity the Game Miniatures and X-Wing. X-Wing! We'll be there uh, hopefully doing some live streaming. Uh, if not, definitely doing some recording. So keep your eyes peeled. We'll have some games for that. And it is quickly filling up. So get your tickets now. Yeah, do it, do it. So now, now that we know, now that you know what we're talking about. Uh, so he brought some pretty fantastic swag. Um, so these are examples of some of the things you can uh, win by coming to this event. I have a, a trunk in my office full of donated uh, prizes. Full of awesome. A lot of it is for X-Wing, but uh, a lot of it is just, uh, other things are just for gaming in general. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could probably fit Stickus and Bally in that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could easily fold I... and fit in that trunk. You might you might have to dismember us a little, but that happens. There's, uh, there's a lot of things. So I, I only brought a little bit today, but uh, I have some great alternate art oh these are so good cards so uh, here i'll uh yeah, we'll yeah check I'll it out. there you go so we got uh here you go for your pleasure miranda miranda donnie beautiful oh my god all the stats everything's still there so it's ab it's a gorgeous card absolutely gorgeous card we have uh here's an example of ray of course beautiful alt art full face alt art card that's awesome absolutely gorgeous the uh, the backs look pretty neat as well. Oh yeah, so you can see they have a really nice uh, looking rebel design on those ones. Uh, same with uh, Miranda there. Then we have uh, Blue Squadron Pathfinder with a picture of Jin doing her do. Of course, she never really flew, but uh, definitely was in the U wing. So it's nice to have her on there. And of course, there's the back showing the uh, the rebel insignia. So the Outer Rim Smuggler. Which in this case is a Leia, so it's always nice to have uh, another version of Leia. This time, actually, as a pilot, uh, it's not actually Leia, but uh, it's sort of her undercover uh, doing some uh, uh, wet work for the uh, Rebel Alliance. There, the uh, the image uh, it was drawn by the the person who donated these all all of these cards, uh, a Polish gentleman named Bartek Fedicek, awesome. um, and that Leia comes from the. Uh, comic book rendition of Leia. Oh, this would have been uh, when uh, Shattered Empire. Yes. Okay. Good. Nice. I thought so. And uh, there is one scum pilot. Excellent. So well. we have here everybody's favorite Fen Rao. Dude is at times he feels freaking immortal, and other times he feels like he's made of paper mache. You just never know until you're rolling those dice. But there you go. That's beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, alt art of uh, Fen Rao, the ship in the background. I think it's just gorgeous. So I, I have and of a lot with of... with the scum insignia on the back of his ship now. So I have a lot of sets of these five cards. Uh, they'll be available uh, in full sets oh. of five there to the, the five. top four winners. 
So four, top four placing. Come and get them. Come and get them. As well as as raffle prizes and some of them individually as uh, bounties on individual table matches. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I have with me as well uh, one Paul LaRue card, uh, Asajj Ventress. So if you're not familiar, Paul LaRue is uh, a uh, sort of moderate celebrity in the X-Wing community because of the uh, alternate art cards that he does. Um, this is seriously quite gorgeous. Um, I, I'll get it as close as I can there so you guys can have a look. It's a beautiful, beautiful Ventress. So I have 12 of these Ventress cards. Uh, and then I have a few singles of different Imperial pilots. There you go. And uh, with a, a fancy scum and 2017 event on the back. Now these these I think are something very special. Do you wanna do you wanna roll an attack? Oh, oh, oh my God, that's hefty. So we have here some metal X-wing attack dice. Holy jeez, these are hefty, man. These are solid. And these are from our friends uh, at Die Hard. Die Hard! So they make basically um, impervious dice. There's no way these ones have air bubbles in them. So, uh, oh man, that's... Whoa, yeah, solid. Solid. So hitting it, hitting a uh, focus. And then uh, there are the uh, evade dice. So uh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, hefty again. Hefty. So I have uh, this set of uh, three attack and three defense dice on offer for X-Wing. I have five metal D20s available uh, if we have any lucky Infinity players. Nice. Uh, and then I have the classic seven die polyhedral set. Your uh, standard D&D polyhedral set. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. These, these are some top shelf dice everybody i i wish you could hold them in your hand you're gonna have to come to the stardust series to check them out they these are awesome i want these i, I want these <laughs> so the the prize now that i'm most excited about uh was one of my own projects uh it comes with a crew card and then a damage deck yes yes uh, you heard that right a custom damage deck these are being awarded to the top eight finishers at Stardust Series. Why don't you uh, take a look at these? You gotcha. So, uh, so this is this is a crew card, a new alternate art crew card. Here, I'll get the there you go, less glare. There we go. Of Sabine Wren with a special uh, art that has been commissioned specifically for this event. Absolutely. So, the, absolutely uh, gorgeous. The artist, uh, Tris Nielsen will be at our event uh, with a vendor table. If uh, if you love these alternate arts, you can uh, pick up other. Uh, Do examples it. Of her Commission work. this artist. Give them more work. This is gorgeous. We want more. And then for the uh, the damage deck itself. So here we go. So this is the damage deck. So we've got the back side, which has the event name Stardust Series 2017 and uh, Sabine. Looking all smug. And then on the other side is the actual damage effect. So you get your face up and face down damage. And so this one's a direct hit. You can see they have all of the appropriate cards that you would get in a damage deck. So thrust control fire, um, or a loose stabilizer, so, damage sensor array. Out of curiosity. Which damage deck variation is this one based on? Ah, this is the question. Force Awakens damage deck. Ah, yeah. Excellent. So this is the newer, less crippling damage deck overall. The more common damage deck. The more deck. common one, yeah. So beautiful. That's, it's awesome. It's really su quite awesome. So the uh, this damage deck with the Stardust Series 2017 logo on it. Uh, there you go. Is, uh, is a limited edition print. They're only going to be available to the top eight finishers at this year's tournament. Um, however, if you're not lucky enough to end up in the top eight, we will have several decks uh, available for purchase uh, that do not include the 2017 logo that lets you know that that person kicks butt at X-Wing. <laughs> so if you want to if you want to be a, a bit of a pretender, you can still uh, pick up the, uh, the damage deck. It just won't have the 
the uh, uh, event name and such. So. But it's still beautiful. It's still so beautiful. So beautiful. That is that is some classy art right there. Right on. So there, there's our update for Stardust Series. Awesome. It's going to be fantastic. We, we look forward to seeing you guys there and or on the stream watching. Uh, it'll be great times with some great games with some great people. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. So with that said, we're going to get into our first match this evening. And uh, Bally, Bally has uh, said that uh, I should go first. Yes. So we're going to... Um, both Each of us are going to face off against other Red 5 tonight. And uh, I'm going to take the first shift, and then Bally will see what he can do. I don't think that's even true. I think I'm going to go home. <gasps> and I'm going to watch the stream from home. You're going to watch You're gonna watch from home? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Since Josh is... Or other Red 5. Sorry. I'm good about that all the time. <laughs> I use his real name, too. Uh, since you have another opponent here this evening who's... You're going to bow out for the evening? I'm going to bow. That's cool, because I got, like, eight lists. So I, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have your ship, and you got stuff to fly, so that's it for me. Nice. I'm gonna all right. Call it, call it a night from the stream for tonight. And Okay, buddy. So how about we quickly cover next week, though? Yes. Before I do disappear. Yes. So next week... Stickus is not going to be around and will not be streaming this. Um, we debated as to whether I would come over to his home and hijack his gear and stream. I have debated against it. <coughs> you Instead, have decided no. I have decided no. Instead, I will be stealing the Geek Tech stream key, so Geek Tech will be live next <laughs> Thursday night. But instead, it will be a special broadcast of the Steam released version of the remastered Rogue Squadron video oh. game. So I will be playing a run through of Rogue Squadron. They remastered doing, it. Well, it not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I get to use I get to use my computer <laughs> high res at least. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Sheeny. You mean the week after next? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh I yeah, I guess, me yes, yes, okay, it is. So okay, so it'll be two weeks from now then. Anyway, next week's fine. fine. We can week after. Talk about it. We'll yeah. talk about it again next sure. week. Sure, yeah. Okay, well, that's what's <laughs> going to be happening then in two weeks. That's cool. <laughs> there will be uh, a slightly <laughs> different, a slightly ex extremely different version of Geek Tech going live that night. Yeah. So, yeah. Just showing some of the many, many ways that we love Star Wars. Yes. A, l a little bit of. An alternate view of the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Something with a little bit of story yeah. and no campy, witty banter. Yeah. No guarantee that Bally will be... Probably lots um, of me swearing. Yeah. No no guarantee that Bally will be paying attention to the chat in any way. So feel free to call him names. Uh, he'll never notice. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> not that I ever do. It already happens, I'm sure. Well, I'm probably. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's all good. That's okay. I make up for it. I call him names to, uh, to his face. So. Well, may the force be with you. Thank you. Blow them up good. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. This list is... Uh, I'm trying just. I'm just trying to slug it out to ten. I was talking to other red five. Oh. Yeah. That's fair. That list needs to continue to die in a fire. Oh. I've lost to it twice. That's fair. So it yeah. can go die in a fire. You're the only one... Slug them out. You're the well, only one I've, I've killed been, with this deck. Uh, yesterday? Yeah. Or Tuesday. No, that, yeah, it was... Was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, he... he Slaughtered it. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. I'm gonna. I. I've, I've got it figured out. I'm gonna do something different. Not really. I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> he asked me to play a more casual squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'm, I'm stacking it towards myself. So. <laughs> All right. So. See you. Bye, Bally. Yeah. I miss you already. You haven't even left yet. I know. Uh, Stop saying your goodbyes and get your <laughs> ship. His ships are out. Yeah, my ships are, are ready. Um, other Red Five's getting his in a moment. So Sorry. I'm just I'm just gonna steal stickers for like five minutes. Okay. Can we turn the stream off? Okay. No. Um. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Well, we, we can. Run it. it can just sit there, or other red five can talk with people about Stardust series or not. Yep. So we're uh, we'll we'll be Is placing again be like in a moment. Bally needs to steal me for a minute. I'll be back in a couple minutes, guys.
we get to find out tonight if the garbage will do. If the garbage will do, huh? So it's the new Falcon? Well, <coughs> it's uh, it's actually going to be the outer oh, smuggler. Oh, the garbage. The Serious garbage. garbage. All right. The All garbage right. will do. <laughs> Here, I'll bring up the chat so we can see it. Shinny has, has stepped out for a minute, but I'm back. There you go. This is going to be my squad. Oh, oh, I can't oh, oh, oh. Here, I'll uh, if you hold it. Uh, oh, it's oh it's, this one's delayed. This one's delayed. Yeah. So we can actually probably see it. Hold on. Okay, try, try it up in, uh, in front now. There you go. Right. So we here. got, uh, oh, the Imdar Alpha one, um, Bandit Squadron. Nice. I got a couple of those. Mm -hmm. And an Outer Rim Smuggler and Miranda Donnie. Oh. Just oh, want to use some of these promo cards. I hear you. I hear you. Miranda with an Outer Rim Smuggler. Interesting. All right. So the Outer Rim Smuggler is is kind of it. It kind of is the garbage version of the YT thirteen hundred. Uh, that's it's really why the Resistance Sympathizer now exists. It's the only ship in the game that has a pilot with different base stats than the other pilots. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking at the time. And although at the time that that ship was released, there were so few ships to, uh, to interact with that it really didn't affect the flow of the game a whole lot. Mm -hmm. it, it was still useful then, at least as a crew carrier even. So so what this means is that if you lose, you cannot blame it <laughs> on me flying something overpowered. No. Nope. Not in this, any way. No, you know what? It's all this, Miranda. This it's all Miranda. This crappy ship <laughs> costs one point more than a contracted scout. What's it? So he's 24? 26 points. 26. Instead of the 25 a contracted scout. So Biggs is already that much. Yeah. So, yeah. Before upgrades. Yeah. It's got upgrades. Yeah, you got a couple on there? All right. Four. Princess Leia's ship. And, until they release... Han a, wouldn't have let her flown without upgrades. Come an, on. An N1 Starfighter. Oh, with Leia as a pilot? Leia and Shara, right? Would there be pilots go. because of the because of their uh, actions in the comic? And Anakin. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, no! No, they, they said no Clone Wars pilots. Well, they already include Clone Wars ships. True... True. So, I'm, gonna be I'm remarkably tempted here. to talk to uh, this artist that you had con that uh, you um, got the custom deck done with, and uh, see if, see what uh, she'll charge to do a um, custom pilot card for Rex. He needs his mustache showing. Depends uh, if you want like a like a portrait only. Well, I guess it would be the portrait, and then I would so put it into one of the... Uh, she, she has different prices for portrait, portrait uh, like upper body or like full body. Okay. So like the kind of thing where I got like... Uh, I guess I guess just all I need is like the upper body headshot sort of deal. Yeah. Because I know that uh, what this artist charges for uh, something similar to what I got done is like 450 Oof. Um... I did get a. Uh, you got the uh, a discount because she knows that event. some of these are being donated to the charity event. Yeah, and uh, no, there there are quite a few artists out there, but yeah, check out her work. I really liked it, so I, I wanted to go with it. Yeah. And, well, uh, you know, and at four hundred fifty dollars, based on the quality I've seen there, it's actually not a bad price. This this <laughs> also required me to hire a graphic designer. To, oh uh, yes, to take, get it in the take right the format, image, right? format it for a card. Yeah, tried to do it for, on my own for several weeks, and uh, just kept running into problems. Back and eh? forth, it was just a lot of headaches. Yeah, a graphic designer. I don't know. All right, so there is my debris. I need to use these. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna test them. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Here you go. We'll put the shiny dice in. Bah! Who's that uh, coffee? Is this? Uh, that what's in it? Coffee. Is it just black? Oh, that one's mine. Okay. <laughs> Bally's like, I didn't leave coffee. You think Bally would leave coffee? No, Bally doesn't leave coffee. If you want, you can use my uh, 
Vader deck. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? We can go fancy tonight. We'll, we'll go full on fancy. Yes, I will. Sure, we'll take the Undisputer. There you go. <laughs> so Ray started calling his, so it's, it's just kind of stuck. For the record, Ray, because I'm sure either you're watching or at least Zeta's watching, and I'll throw this out there. I haven't stolen your name. Stickus may choose to use it. I still just call it a laser pointer. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I steal all the uh, cool names. At least I give credit where credit's due. You claim just as many lame names. I think they're cool. It's got these four comparisons. Hold on a second. Let me just switch. The May the force be with you both. Here. So what you got? Thank here? you. Ah, okay. So we have here um, the actual crew card. So the uh, as published by FFG crew card. Uh, next to oh, hold up, there we go. Next to uh, the alternate art that was commissioned for the starter series. Next to a cat. Oh, hey Morty. This is our youngest mustache. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> put the sea rock in a list and put it on the table, he says. He puts the sea rock on the table or it gets the hose. Uh, oh, hold on. There we go. Put that one on there. And that one on her. She's never going to take one. Okay. All right, there's my rest of my tokens. tokens. I'm going to put them on the side. There we go. Okay, I think we're just about ready. Uh, of course, I'm 99 points. I will double check. All right. Would you like me to uh, message this to you? Uh, no, we'll put it up later. Okay. So um, we may as well go over uh, our lists. Now, uh, I'll go over mine really quickly because if you guys have been watching the stream, you know already what I'm flying. Um, so I've got Jess Pava, Integrated Astromech, R2-D6, Adaptability. Thane Carroll with Alliance Overhaul, Jin Urso, and M9G8. Captain Rex, just Rex. And then Biggs backing them up with Integrated Astromech and R5P9. Wait, is this with the changes that uh, we talked about the other day? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm going to try flying it differently and see if this build is still viable if I do something different tactically. Oh, okay. I don't want to give up on it till I get my 10 flights in. And I'm at 6 with this build right now, so if I figure if I just get a few more in, I'll, I'll really know whether it's me or it. So I am also at 99 points. Oh! <laughs> my idea with, uh, for bid was a fail! <laughs> with no crossover, I'm pilot skill 8, pilot skill 2, and pilot skill 1. Oh my. So I have, uh, leading my squad, my glorious... Um, you know, flagship. The Millennium Falcon, Outer Rim Smuggler, piloted by an imaginary Leia. It's it's Leia undercover. With so this is actually the Outer Rim Smuggler with the new Millennium Falcon title? That's right. Okay. So I have the new Millennium Falcon title, allowing me to perform the Signor's Loop. Uh, smuggling Compartment, which allows me to equip the Scavenger Crane. Ooh. I have Kane and Jarrus yeah. as crew, Sabine Wren as crew, and Cluster Mines. A... What? A Smuggler Bomber? This is... A what? Okay. Okay. I'm... Okay, this is going to be weird, but I like it. I have a Naked Bandit Squadron pilot. Yep. The Hero. The hero of the day. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, my point man, Miranda Doney. Yo. With extra munitions, twin laser turret, cluster mines, thermal detonators, advanced slam, and ray. Wow. Okay. Big build on Miranda. Bomb build on Miranda. All right. Bomb TLT with ray. Oof. That's, that's hurting. But I only got 10 hit points to chew through on that outer rim smuggler, so that's a boon for me there. And I can probably waste your um, little bandit squadron uh, guy if I can manage to focus on him. Please do. <laughs> like, he's just there to take the hits 
so that others don't. He's just here to read the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Just here for the comment. All right, so there is my debris. Uh, we're each at uh, 99 points, so let's roll this off. Um, there you are, sir. Go ahead and you roll it and I'll call it. I have easy news. Big old chunks of rock. All right. Ooh. All right. Uh, Toss her in there. I'm going to call hits. Nope. Goddamn blank. So air bubble. It's an I air bubble. Will, uh, yeah. I will take initiative. <laughs> okay. Okay. Place the first. So that gives you the first rocks, and uh, we don't overlap anywhere. So all it's really going to give you is placing rocks at this point. Because you got a eight, two, one. Yes. Okay. This should be interesting. It's funny. I found with this list, I either get wrecked. Or I wreck really hard. So like the wins that I've had with it with this uh, list have been decisive wins, whereas my losses have all all been pretty decisive losses. Hmm. And that makes me wonder: is it simply the pilots that I'm flying it against, or is it the list itself? Well, do those uh, wins and losses seem to? I haven't found a pattern yet. No. No. Mostly the pattern is, damn it, Stickus, you forgot to trigger Thane again. Well, maybe we can. Ah, you to forgot to use M9G8 again. So, and hopefully, I will break that pattern and start to establish a pattern of winning with this <laughs> with this list. I, I still think that the version 2.0 is uh, is the way to go, but we can talk about that later. I I somewhat concur in that it reduces overall alpha damage against. Um, bigs which in the current meta is super important it's way more important right now than his regen and i just want to i, I want to love thane i already love braylon braylon's think, so awesome i think that the stress control that uh, that you could get with yeah the, the braylon uh, with the other too. version yeah. offers you an ability to let your squad catch up because without uh, without repositions on most of your uh, ships, and if you were to start repositioning, you're gonna lose the integrity of your your formation. Yep. Um, you just it's hard to catch some people. It it can be it can be, and I I've also I think I've realized that like uh, the strength of this list is gonna be in that initial joust, and if I can't either cripple or kill somebody in the first uh, exchange probably not going to do super good for the rest of the match. Okay. So, I think I the the other thing I've I think I've come to realize about this list is that I just I have to fly it more aggressively than I had been. Yeah, I did that one. Let's see what do the comments say? <laughs> the whole 360 turret has been mounted uh, on it. Uh, it sits directly in line be uh, behind two large dish arrays. How the hell is that supposed to shoot forward then, he says. <laughs> yeah, I, I somewhat agree with you on that. It's not, a, But, you know. Well, the, the turret was there first. Yeah, and then, then they, they put the dishes on. And then they decided that they really needed satellite TV. Yeah. At all costs. Honestly, when you're on those long haul uh, uh, hyperspace lanes, it gets pretty boring. There's only so much canned content you can go through in those months. I can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> Guess the Sea Rock should have gotten cable, eh? Yep. Well, it, yeah, it's, it is hard to run cable in hyperspace, though. But really, they're already scum. Why aren't they just torrenting everything? Yeah. I'm going to put it over here, sir. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm good. We're good. Cool. So you're going to have your uh, Outer Rim Smuggler and your Bandit Squadron first. Yeah. Uh, we're deploying. 
Why? I'm not actually listening, but I can see things on the board, so I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's okay. It's okay, Shinny. I know you're trying to multitask right now. Yeah. Tell Justin from Dice Rebels that you were through the Oh, what? Oh, yes. Hey, thanks for joining us, Justin. Um, uh, Bally was a super tricksy hobbit and uh, brought a Sea Rock cruiser. Um, okay, so I'm going to deploy with the with what looked to be the intention of unboxing it and taking it home. And then was like, surprise, early birthday present, have a Sea Rock. And I just about wet my pants. All right, there's Jess. I'm going to push her up to a four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do... Thane. Do, 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 do. And I don't push him up or down to anything because he's just a four. Uh, and then Rex. And Biggs. Gonna have to find out what Biggs' actual colors are on his X Wing and do an up proper for him. Okay, I am deployed. So it is now Miranda. Miranda. Um, I'm a little torn about Jabba Crew. I think it's gonna be an incredibly powerful uh, upgrade in the right squad. Uh, and I think he's gonna be. Incredibly useful with as Morrigan in epic play, um, but uh, I I uh, I have to see some builds that use him effectively before I can really um, call anything on that. Jabba, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The two crew slot thing is a, is a problem to me, but it makes sense thematically because come on, Jabba, he's huge. I mean, the only time that else that that's happened is if the emperor. Yeah, Ines, 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 I think, I guess. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, I agree, he looks fun, but you're right. It's much more of a build around as opposed to a slot in like uh, Palpatine sort of was. Uh, although Palpatine at eight points is kind of a build around as well. Okay, uh, dials, I guess. Yeah, a timer. I've got the timer ready. We just gotta, We just got to hit it when we're ready. And Miranda's over there. Oh, just do it. Do it, man. Don't don't pussyfoot around. Just do it. Ugh. Just trying to hype myself up. And okay, I'm dialed in. Let me know when you're ready. And I will kick the timer over. Oh, good. I didn't butcher it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It, uh, you know what? I'm just... Congratulations. You're in East now. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> or And you're welcome. Uh, it just makes it easier when I'm referring to you in the chat. So, yeah, I, I appreciate you letting me know that uh, you don't really have a way to pronounce it either. There's a lot, a lot of folks who come up with their uh, nickname online or their handle without ever actually having to pronounce it out loud. And uh, sometimes it's really hard to tell. So, okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, may the force be with you, sir. And so I'm going to reveal Jess Pava first, going forward three. No, I'm not, actually. I'm so used to going first. You go first. I really need all of these <laughs> bombs. He does. He really he's, might actually use all of them. I might run out. <laughs> <laughs> that has happened. That has happened. Okay. Mm-hmm. Slow rolling with the YT. Waiting for me to make my move. Mm -hmm. Alright, taking a focus. 
And the three, he's going to turn three. He's oh, I see. He's getting going to get on the other side of that asteroid. And you're going to try and make me divide my fire, I think. We'll see how that turns out for me and him. Okay, so Jess is going to do a forward three. And it's going to be some time to get some target lock time. It is soon going to be target lock time. So there's Jess. She's going to take a focus. Uh, going to reveal Thane, who's also doing a forward three. He will also take a focus. Uh, Rex doing a forward three. It's really not a surprise, I'm sure. And then last but not least, Biggs doing a forward three. Happy to get them off the edge of the mat here. It gets a little flappy towards the edge on my table. There we go. And Biggs, of course, is also gonna take a focus. Oh, hello, Cryptomeria. It's good to see you. Heh. I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm done. So it's now Miranda. Okay. So oh, you don't, you don't have to move her. It's fine. <laughs> oh. She's just hanging out. She's, She's just doing her thing. Going to bank slowly into combat. And there you go. Focus up with Ray. Focus. Focus. Start banking him. Start banking him. Bank early. Okay. Um, yeah. No shots. So we sweep tokens. So Miranda's got no shots. Yep. No, no sir. Nope. No okay. Thing. So now the question becomes, where the hell is that Falcon going? Because uh, normally... I'd be like, yeah, Utterim Smuggler, who gives a crap? But now, <laughs> I've got a slooping Utterim Smuggler who can possibly drop a uh, Cluster Mine in my face. So, yeah, hopefully, I don't think he's got room, honestly, to sloop three at this point. there and that one's going to go there no, you're just going to keep doing that and you're going to go over there yeah okay so we're dials down we're ready to go yep ready all right Leia, bring it on just doing it hanging out that's probably gonna be on the rock. Uh, yep. Now I don't think you can do that if you are on it. Right? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah you're not yeah. touching another ship, and you are not stressed. You're not touching another ship, and you're not stressed. You may receive a stress token to rotate your ship 180 degrees. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. So, yep, that works. I'm gonna go for it. Yep. I'm not gonna have any shots. You're not gonna have a shot. You're not gonna have an action. You're gonna receive the stress and immediately lose it because of Kanan. I, th I think that when someone sees this, they want to see some derp, and I'm going <laughs> to give them the derp. <laughs> so you're like, I'll indulge the derp in this turn, and then roll for your yeah. uh, debris there, or for your, your thing. Oh. oh, I'm down already. One shield. That's not so good. That's not so good. All right, Bandit, where are you going? That's what I thought coming he's, around. He's the hero. <laughs> the Bandit hero. Watch him end up being your freaking MVP and get all the kills. It's happened. <laughs> Z95s do that all the time. Talus Squadron have raped right. so many kills. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, forward three with these guys. And so Jess is going to take a focus. Thane will... Uh, 
Uh, acquire a target lock <laughs> on Biggs. Uh, Rex is going to forward three. And take a focus. And then Biggs is going to forward three and also take a focus. Here we go. So this is what happens when you typically play Dash Render competitively. You forget about debris, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, that's fine. It's just a rock. I'll just, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just get so used to ignoring them. Yep. Yep. It's a thing. It's totally a thing. All right. And you have Dash Sensitivity. It's like, it's a condition. <laughs> All right, I want to target lock bigs, but I can't. Nope. So I'll focus. It's a uh, end phase that it yeah. is, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, same thing, same thing. Um, so Miranda has no shot. So Edder and Smuggler has no shot. Nope. Um, Biggs is going to take what appears to be a range two. Yep. Your whole squad. So I'm going to roll these fancy, fancy dice here. Oh man, they're so beefy. Well, that was bollocks. So I'm going to use M9 G8 to reroll one of those. Whoa. Remember. I remember. This is honestly like the first time in probably three games I've remembered to M9 G8. And uh, I'll spend the focus to make it two hits. Oh, this is going to happen. Focus. Yep, thank you. Oh, cock die. Ah. Nothing. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Jess next with, <laughs> uh, looks like four. Uh, so there's going two on. hits, and I'll re-roll the blank. Nice. Spin the focus, and that's four hits. Wow, those metal dice are awesome. I think so. It's not my real plan. I get to turn <laughs> down some put them down. Some put them down. Damage cards. There you go. Did you put them next to the ship? <laughs> All right, uh, and then Rex. Rex is gonna shoot two dice at the bandit and miss completely. And, Do you have to uh, hit to give the condition? Or? Nope, I have to shoot at you. Shoot at me. So there you go. There's the suppressing fire condition on him. Okay. And then Thane is gonna do. Ooh, looks to be a range two, but I need to double check my arc. I just, I, yeah. Okay, never mind. Quite range two. So Thane is going to roll three dice at the Utter and Smuggler. This could be it. Oh, one crit. I'm just reaching straight for the deck. I know, right? Not yet, not yet. Oh. Major hull breach. Oh, down a little. There you go. Major hull breach. Damn. So all your damage cards are dealt face up now? Or starting next starting turn. Starting next turn. Yeah. Uh, Jess didn't have to spend that, did she? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. That's right. Rex didn't have to spend his. That's what it was. Okay. And then I get my attack. Yep. Here. Your bandit squadron gets to attack back. Bigs. Yep. B -b 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 Bigs. So I'm going to get three dice. One, oh. crit. <laughs> One dice and he busts a crit. What the Revenge. hell? <laughs> uh, so nothing. Uh, Bigs takes one. And uh, Eat it. Thane triggers, uh, and I will Jin Urso for two focus tokens and give them to Biggs. I remembered twice. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. He has no shot. End of combat. And uh, yeah, end so of I combat. Have an and, I resolve yeah. mine. And is at the end of the combat, so I spend one to regen a shield. Yep, we are shield. Biggs. Biggs. Okay. Okay, and then we sweep tokens. That poor smuggler. Right. That poor smuggler. Leia's like, damn it! 
Han, why did you have to mess with the controls just before I took it out? <laughs> I was trying to fix them, dear. You fixed me right into an asteroid. Do you know what the odds of that are? <laughs> Ridiculous. That'll be fine. And that one, and take it out real quick. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Let's check the chat again. Oh yeah, too, well, it, it's really hard for it to work with Dead Man's with Java to work with Dead Man's Switch. Uh, it's hard to come back to life twice. Um, although, uh, technically, you could use it with Tell if uh, Dead Man's Switch actually got you to discard. Except that Tell doesn't actually die the first time he dies. It says instead of being killed. So, eh. Until there's a way to bring ships back from the dead. Okay. Double Good dead man go. switch wouldn't be useful. You ready? Let's do it then. Mm -hmm. So, outer room smuggler doing some thing. And off that debris. Getting out of there. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one turn of these. it around. Cane in the stress. Just because I can. Yeah. Well, it's there. Makes sense. So this is fun. No, I know it's the end of the next round of combat. That's oh, after so I shoot. After you shoot at Rex. After I shoot at anything. So I I shot. The condition made me go down to one one dice. At the end of the combat phase, if Captain Rex did not perform an attack this phase, remove this card. When you declare an attack targeting Captain Rex, or when Captain Rex is destroyed, remove this. So at the end of the. Phase. At the end of a combat phase where I didn't attack, remove it. After. You received it, you attacked. Th this combat phase is when you would lose it. If, it I, if I don't attack you. But it only procs once per time that you put it on me. Uh, because I've already, so. I've already suffered the effect. When attacking a ship other than Captain Rex. Yep. So, well, I, the, it's going to fall off when I have to attack somebody, when I have to attack somebody else next round anyway. So, okay. It stay, basically, it stays until... But not on my attack, if you... Exactly. Know. Okay, and I'm going to do some target locking. This way, re the, this is uh, how Rex can uh, use it on uh, high pilot skill aces. Because mm. he shoots the, the one round and it follows him into the next round. And as long as Rex keeps shooting at them, it can stay on there. So, yeah, but yeah. each time it's applied, it only affects one combat phase. But it only comes off but at each that, ship specific, only get... that specific time of the... When you attack Captain Rex. Okay, yeah. so I've, I've moved both my ships. Okay. Damn. Fucking blocker. All right, I'm going to do Thane first and see if I can get past you. I'm going to do a bank one. Probably. And... Yup. I think that'll actually just stay right there. That's what it's supposed to be. Oops. Get those out of the way a minute. Eh. There he is. All right, Thane. Um, he's going to take a focus. He's going to leave that target lock there. Oh, I never did my, uh, my action here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it flips down, right? Yeah. All right. Um, Jess. I'm just going to try a bank one. I'm pretty sure that's a collide. No. Oh, not so much. But I've, it, I've integrated myself in your formula. I know, right? You've just sort of been like, 
Look at me, take, I'm a rebel too. Take me with you. Um, she's gonna boost. That guy's going the wrong way. Yeah. Hey, what's up with that Z95 pilot? Is he? Is, is, is does he know what side he's on? There you go. There's Jess. Uh, Captain Rex is doing a bank two. That's hitting something. Oh, it's definitely a collision. It was intended to be though, so. It is you. Collision is you. It's going to be right about there. In the Soviet Empire. <laughs> Collision, thank you. And then Biggs to the bank one. And bumps. Oh. He's the guy. He's the guy. Bump. No action for Biggs. He gets nothing. Nothing. All right. That's that. If I can just keep them together this time. <laughs> okay, so I've got my two turns. Mm, here comes some bombs. Here comes some bombs. Ah, uh, I should have known. It's going to slam out past me and wreck my face with some goddamn cluster bombs. You do have advanced slam, right? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this, to quote every Star Wars movie ever. Not the Phantom Menace. Are you kidding me? Yeah. In like the first two minutes of the movie, mm -hmm. Obi-Wan turns to Qui-Gon and says, I have a bad feeling about this, Master. No. Or quoted all the movies. No. Okay. No. I have a bad feeling about this. I I am reasonably certain is in all the movies. Okay. My bad. Ah, yeah. Freaking cluster mines. God damn it. Poops out his cluster mines. And gives Thane a bad day. I think it'll be fine. Except I'm going to have to split them up to get away from it now. Which you're okay with as well, I'm sure. It is a thing that it is definitely has a thing. been known to happen. And okay. And combat. Oh, is Thane going to get a shot? Thane might get a shot. Or end of uh, activation. Yep. Okay. Start of combat. I have no start of combat shenanigans. Okay. Miranda, do the do. No, no, you, you slammed. slammed. That's right. Well, Biggs is going to try and shoot at her. Three dice. And damn, not bad, Biggs. Two hits and a crit. It's these metal dice. They're just extra lucky. Ah, there's a the squiggle. We got two shields. Yep. And then uh, Rex is going to shoot at her for two dice, which... I can't tell if it's obstructed or not. Uh, it is not. No. No. But it is range two within arc, so. Oh, one focus. Nothing. But uh, have the suppressing fire token now. It's like a hot potato. And then I think. I think Thane has a range one. Mm hmm. So, four dice. Nice. Three hits. <laughs> Pulling up max evades. Two more shields. It's on my okay. shields. Yep. Uh, Jess has no shot. I really shouldn't have boosted her. If I'd have kept her back, I'd have gotten a shot. Another shot on Miranda, and might have started getting into hull there. Okay, so but my now I'm gonna have to chase you down. My bandit is uh, in base contact with Biggs, so I have no shot there. No. Nope. However, my outer rim smuggler has a couple range three shots. Yep. Now is Jess within range? Yes, is within range. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to shoot at Biggs. Yep. 
Who has no focus tokens. Nope. But I don't either. Uh, that is range three, you said? Range three. Okay, so I am going to get three dice. Ha! Huh, solid two hits. Two hits. Uh, I get one evade. Okay. So I take a shield, and Thane triggers. Thane does not trigger. Uh, oh, because I... Yeah, you're not in my arc. Mm -hmm. That's right. I forgot that I you have, to, you have to be in my arc at range one to three. I'm not in the arc. Sorry. So no Thane. Big stakes one. That was the last part of the round, so we sweep tokens. All right, I'm going to put this back here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because you just keep banking them, right? Uh, all right, and then set maneuvers. Shit, Thane. It's going to be Thane. Uh. Hmm. I don't have a lot of choices with Jess there. You're doing a pretty good job splitting my herd up here. Hmm. work okay all right i'm ready bring it on big old smuggler let's do it i'm gonna be doing a three straight <laughs> ah jay i was only sat in uh return of the jedi for one reason then that was ewoks so uh, we have something in common there uh, can you mark bigs, please? I will definitely mark bigs. Uh, you're all side marking, actually, so that you can fit through there. Boop. All right. This guy really is the hero, isn't he? He's, uh, He's fearless. Still, I know, right? He just like pushes right into the middle. Doesn't even get any shots on him. Whatever. It's just like pff, amateurs. You want hard mode? Drive a Z95, suckers. Well, that's, that's how you get good. <laughs> yeah, totally. Survive multiple encounters in a Z95. You go to, like, Jump Masters or OP and just get good. Z yeah. Swarm. <laughs> get good, Z Swarm. I, I have a, an 88-point initiative, Ben. What about <laughs> it? <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a turn two with Jess and hope for some luck. Not enough to kill me. Yeah, that's about right. All right, so that one goes off. So just just a moment before you take it. I want to see if he's in range. I think it's just Thane. Mm -hmm. Bigs, yeah, Rex is out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask Sabine on the. So Sabine is when it goes off when when Sabine. they go off. Uh, once per round before friendly bomb token is removed, choose one. Enemy okay, so Thane takes the damage. Uh, no, I'm just right? Oh, you're going to choose Jess? Jess? Okay, Jess. Boop. We're going to roll two dice for the one. And uh, one hit. And two dice for the other. One hit. Eh, not bad. 
Not bad. Um, Jas still gets an action, right? Mm -hmm. Even though that went off. Uh, so she is going to focus. Uh, Thane. Oh, that's yours. I'm sorry. Is this one? <laughs> what look, the heck's it doing way up there? looking at my dials. I know, right? Well, it's, it's so hard to tell with rebel dials where anybody is, so. I'll keep mine over here for now. All right. Cheating like a cheating face. I know, right? Hold that there. Thane is going to move to about there. Go and stop. He's all nestled in there. Bumps Jess first. Yeah. Still got his thing. All right, that's those two. Uh, Rex is going to do a turn two as well. Hoping there might be enough room there. No. But it's going to be a bump with Miranda. Nice. Whoops. He's inside the, the uh, thing, right? So. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so many big winged ships right there. Well, at least you deferred to the one that matters. That's right. There we go. So there's Rex, not doing much. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. And uh, Biggs is also doing a, is doing a bank too. Oh, you're killing me, man. This is. Do you even understand what's happening right now? Yeah, sort of. I honestly I've thought never... I thought uh, Jess would have moved further out, and that I was. Uh, I knew I knew I was going to bump you, but I thought I would have more turn. It's been a long time since I've got seven damage with the bomb in one turn. Yeah. The bombs in one turn. <laughs> You're gonna have to mark Jess. I just yeah. That's what I'm out there right now. Okay. Can you mark uh, Jess, please? Yeah. Oh, are you dropping the thermal detonator? Yeah, I'm dropping. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where's my? This is the one here. Oh, yeah, that'll do. There we go. And then your whole squad is going to be at range one, so I'll just take it off right now. Mm -hmm. Not mine. Let's bump it up. And you can put chest back. There we go. And then I did a one bank. I just wanted to kind of get out of arcs. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't me who was changing my dial, it was you. That's right, picked it up and rotated live on stream. I picked it up and looked at it. I honestly thought it was mine! It was close to the same thing. <laughs> All right, so I genuinely feel uh, bad. All four of these ships are going to take a damage and a stress. Oh, because it's a thermal detonator, right? Thermal detonator. Okay. I just uh, considering one, Princess Leia is on my squad, and, and she's holding one in her pilot card. Yeah, <laughs> it just makes sense. She want she really wanted to have cluster mines, but Miranda is like, I got you. I'll carry it. Don't worry, don't worry. It's hard to pilot while also holding the the uh, thermal detonator, and then they all take a stress. And I'm going to take a and focus. Four. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think uh, so you just got out of Jess's. Start of combat. Yep. I've uh, got my focus from Ray. So I've got two sitting on me. And I want to use my twin laser turret. Mm-hmm. Jess is at range two. Mm -hmm. Biggs is at range one, so I can't shoot him. Can't shoot him. Nope. Well, that's fine because you're rolling one less dice because of uh, the suppressing fire, which will end at the oh, end of this round. That's true. Do I want this? Do you have mm. focus? But you only have two health left. I'm. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I, I do get a bunch of rerolls too, but yeah. You gonna do it? Actually, no. I'll uh, I'll go for. I think everybody else is too close, aren't they? I'll go for Biggs. Oh, just a two dice primary. Um, uh, still a one dice primary then, because it's uh, it just removes one die. 
Well, well I'm at range, ship, other range than one. Oh, so yeah, dice, so increased, so and two. then decreased, so two. Yeah, okay. My bad. And uh, I'm going to recover a shield. Yep. Also oh, so one. one dice. Okay. <laughs> a crit. One crit. <laughs> this could actually go through. He's got no shields. Uh, I do get a squiggle, though. All right. Uh, you're not in my arc, so I can't trigger Thane. Nope. God damn it! I do get a shield. Thing, so. Yep. Uh, so Thane... But you have no shots. Oh, she, Thane has rear arc. You, you have rear yeah. arc. So Thane is going to do uh, two dice rear arc into the Outer Rim Smuggler. At range two. Yeah. So a focus turns into a crit because of the uh, That's right. alliance overall. Which doesn't matter because it's a hit and a crit. Two crits anyways. Yeah. Ooh. Nothing. And yeah. Is that that's, enough? Uh, that's enough. Oh, that was that's lethal, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Whew, okay. The last one was a direct hit anyways. Oh. So overkill even. So that is Well that's that. Outer Rim Smuggler. Yep, he's done. And my Sabine Wren upgrade. Oh, was on the smuggler. Yeah. Ah. I'm honestly surprised. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, well, that's the only way that uh, you can get bombs on that one. Oh, good point. Good point. All right, and then I've got a range two, two. attack on against Biggs. Biggs. You betcha. Two on two. And I'm going to use my target lock. Yep, yep. Uh, for one crit. One crit. All right. And I get two dice, which are two evades. Two evades. Thane is going to trigger, I think, I have you at range three in my rear arc. Well, if uh, Biggs is at range two, then certainly. Yep. So I'm going to give one focus to Biggs. Shouldn't have attacked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, end of combat. Okay, end of combat. So right. um, Rex of didn't shoot, so the suppressing fire falls off. Um, Big spins his focus to regen. Okay, so you've got oh, one. And there's shield that. back on me. Yeah. All right, Kyle. Yes. So even yes. faster because I don't need my job. <laughs> See, it's an advantage. I'm it, helping. It really is. You gotta wa wonder why sometimes in tournaments someone will have one ship left or two ships left. It's not even something maneuverable. It's like a Y-wing. And, they and they're like, like what am I gonna do? They just, they just sit there spinning their dial and spinning got, their dial. We've got my ship pointed towards the edge of the board. God, if I just keep turning it, a range one or a, a turn one will show up. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Eventually... It's the secret, isn't it? You turn it 27 times to the left and the turn one That's, shows up? No, right, when they obviously have, like, this is your obvious best course of action. Nothing else will do. Yeah. And they're just like, mm, I don't want to. Eh, my head on points. <laughs> eh, how much time is left? 20 minutes? Eh. I'm going to run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Ark, man. Where are you going, Mr. Arkman? Hmm. Where are you going? You're, you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're going to do that. Oh, bollocks. Right, I'm going to keep these over here. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I'm just going to block it with my finger. In case it was one of yours. Proper etiquette. Here, I'll, I'll put that over here. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to put it on oh, my ship cards now. I'm going to put your ship back on me because Sabine's tie is beautiful. Is, oh, that's right. And I put him, I made him a low, uh, low, uh, lower ship there so that others can fit properly. I feel like if you're not using captured tie, you just use a regular tie fighter. Almost. You should. Well, yeah, because, I mean, the model is the same, right? Sorry, not Captured Tie. Uh, Sabine's Masterpiece. Oh, yes. If you don't have the title on, what's the point of having the shiny yeah. tie, right? Yeah. Uh, like that. And you are going to do... Huh. I don't think we can do that. Oh, 
about you do that instead? I think the most painful part of the smuggler is the lower health. It's, you know what? Yeah, I can deal with the two dice attack. That's fine. But the 10 instead of, what, 13 health? Because it's one less shield and, and two less hull, right? Oh, I thought that you were 26. Yeah. yeah, so this this particular build, which, you know, is more effective on people who don't fly on rocks in their <laughs> only opportunity to sloop and bomb people. Sloop and poop. Sloop so and poop. Minds. Nice. Um, is only 39 points. Hmm. That's like a classic Nora without vector thrusters. Right? Mm -hmm. Way more effective than Nora. Just hands down. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, I'm good too. All right, so I'm gonna do. Are oh no, you, you gotta do your guy first. I'm sorry. You can tell I even forgot he was still alive. You can tell me what you're gonna do. He hasn't. I'm gonna do me. this so you know which way to boost. He's just hanging out. Well, I will know which way. You will know which way anyway because I'm gonna reveal all you. my guys before you do. And I'm going to take another card. Um, Senor Biggs, your mustache is so amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do Rex first. He's going to do a bank three, which in my head, oops, avoids the rock. <laughs> I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Oh, I smacked him while moving this dress. Which, oops. There we go. Um, he does not shed his stress. But he's kind of out there now. I'm not going to hit the rock. He's hanging out. Hanging out. Exactly. I uh, got good old Jess Pava who's going to do a bank one. Good job, Jess. Good job. Okay. Um, Thane is going to do a forward two. Getting the business done. Yep. Gets rid of his stress. Just got rid of hers earlier. Um. He's going to acquire a target lock on the band. And then Biggs is going to do a forward two as well. 17. Uh, Biggs will take the focus. And then Miranda, where the hell is she going? <laughs> well, she's going to do it too, but not before she drops another thermal detonator. Oh, shit. Which will hit all of your shifts. Yep. These, are, these reveal lines are really nice against swarms. That is, of yep, low that's everything. Shifts. That's all. Two, three, four. Wow. Four. That's one damage there, one damage there, and one more damage on Jess. Okay, and then I'm going to take a target lock action on Jess Pava. Mm -hmm. 
me is for dumb. It's for <laughs> don't discount me. Don't count me out. Don't right. count me out. Uh. Alright, so now, start of combat. Uh, yep. I'm going to take a focus off Ray. Yep. And I need to check here. Your bigs is not at range one of Jess. No, Bond. you can shoot at Jess. So I'm going to use my TLT against Jess. Okay. So first shot, three dice, is going to be one, two, and I'll spend the focus for three. Which is a guaranteed kill. Actually, uh, I'll, I'll spend my target lock. To re-roll it? To re-roll it. Because reasons. And then I'll spend my focus. Okay. And she takes two. Okay. And and oh, wait. No, hold on. She re-rolls that one. Not that it matters. Because that's still one damage. And she does. Uh, don't you have an integrated asteroid? Oh, that's right. Thank you. So I will cancel that one. And I'll take the second TLT shot and die instead. Okay. And then I've got uh, right here a... You spent that focus. Yeah. An opportunity. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm going to roll the... Uh, Three, three dice. dice straight up. Three dice again. And one. And I get one reroll thanks to Rex. Wow! The one of eight I need. He's alive. Holy crap, Jess! Keep it up, yo! That integrated astromech really is nice for that extra uh, uh, hit point. I was, I was tricked into spending more resources than I needed to. Yeah, I was surprised that you spent your target lock. I was like, why? Well, if she's dead, then using the target lock means I don't have to spend a focus. I can keep my focus for later. Oh, uh, that was why. Okay. But then you survived. And I yeah. had nothing. Uh, so, uh, Thane. Thane is the only one. He is. He is. Thane has range three, three obstructed either. on both, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's back to here. Yeah. On both. Well, whatever. Range three. Against. Oh. Two. Before we get into that, she finished her attack, and I have her in arc. Okay. So I'm going to give, I'm going to Jin Urso. Two focus tokens. Uh, yep, it is two. That's right. Two bigs. Fancy. Amazing. Yep. Uh, two dice out the back. For uh, at uh, Miranda, and that turns into a crit. Okay, so one crit and one evade. Okay. All right. Next turn. Mm, doesn't he shoot? Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's fine. You don't have to shoot. It's cool. <laughs> you can be like, I choose not to attack this turn. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for Biggs, who is at range... Uh, range three, it looks like. Three. Of my Zed. And closest to closest in arc for you is actually outside of that rock, so... Yeah. And I'm going to spend my target lock. Yep, yep. Target lock. Get them dice rollings. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. When I roll dice and it doesn't matter... And I spend one of my focuses to regenerate bigs. Still got it, bigs. Oh, oh, I should have triggered Thane again and maybe reacquired a target lock, but it's not really going to matter. Hmm. Okay, sets and dials. Now I have to shed a bunch more stress. In theory. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't turn these guys around hard enough right now, so... So you still got one plus for my left. Yeah. All right, your uh, hero here. The man, the myth, the legend, 
Bandit Squadron Pilot. From uh, you need the Battle of Rindar? Oh, no, you're going to do the fancy trick. So this is something that we've uh, noticed. Some other folks have probably noticed as well. That is exactly the same as doing a turn two the other way. As long as you center it to the middle of your base. Okay. Literally gets you to exactly the same spot. Okay, I'm gonna do. Can I do. Jess first. She's gonna Jess do a straight two and shed her stress. And then she's going to boost. Probably not getting me far enough. Nope. That's fine. It's range three. I'm going to do just fine. Um, Especially with re-rolls. Rex is going to bank two. And she had one stress. And end up right behind Jess to give her the re-roll. Jesse, Jess. There you go. Don't worry, Jess. I got your back. Jesse, Jess, and the Funky Bunch. And the Funky Bunch. All right. And then uh, Thane is doing a bank two. go into the nubs nubby nub that's all he's got that's all he's got um he is going to acquire a target lock or at least attempt to oh no miranda's just out this is the worst thing ever hey no <laughs> vegeta no yeah. <laughs> oh that's bringing me back uh, there we go. Yeah, focus for him. And then Biggs is going to be like, Oh, Thane, wait up. I'm a slow mover. And instead, overlap the rock. Damn, I thought that would be far enough. He sheds his stress and goes, Ow, god damn it. Why didn't somebody tell me the rock was there? No damage, though. Not critting anything. That's fine. All right. I'm not going to have any shots this turn. Well, maybe. Well, I doubt it. Oh, you're right. Maybe I'll get one from Thane. But I think you're going to move yourself out of range. I would like to... Target lock. Uh, just follow. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> no target locks. No target lock on Jess. Uh, I will, however, take a target lock on Biggs. You don't have that long, those long range sensors going on. No. When I went to Endor Open, my tournament list included the Miranda with long range sensors. Nice. Picking up so. the target locks while you're uh, still approaching on the initial joust. Yeah, the, that was the 52 point. My version of the 52 point Miranda with missile. Nice. No, she is. Uh, missile Randa. 47. 47. She didn't have bombs. Yeah. I find if you got missiles, you don't necessarily need bombs. Just, so. uh, she carried Sabine, she had ion bombs, and then she had missiles. Nice. And her Y-wings had proximity bombs. Ah, very nice. Okay, and then uh, start of combat. Start of combat. I got no shenanigans. Yeah, take that focus. No nanigans. And I'm going to shoot at Biggs. You sure as shooting are. And it is unobstructed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll three dice. Yep. With a twin laser turret. Yep. And you got a target lock. And a focus. And I've got two hits there. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, okay. And uh, nothing. So that's one shield. Okay, and then I'm going to recover a shield. Yep. Now, I can't feign until after your second volley because the entire attack has to parse. Yeah. And hit crit. Hit crit, okay. And uh, one evade, so that's one more. Now I think can't regen hull. Nope. Just the one focus to connection. And not even. Oh! Not even range. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, no regen I can't even days. shoot. Can't even shoot. And Biggs gets no regen this round. All right. Um, I got no shots then. Okay. The only guy I got with any arc that's not forward is Thane. My Zed has range three against two uh, different ships. Yep. So I'm going to shoot at just Pava. Yeah, you are. 
There's She's gonna get three dice then. She's the guy. And I got one reroll. I've got two dice and a focus. Man, watch him just like yeah. There you go. Two hero, hero. Yes. No, you have a reroll. What? Oh, we give people sea rocks. What do you mean? What do you, I don't understand. I don't know what sea rock is. Can I it's a ship. It's the giant ship that Bally gave me today. Oh. People are asking me to give away a sea rock? They're asking you to give everyone in the chat a sea rock. Oh, done. Done. No problem. I'll just write sea rock on a piece of paper and send all of you a piece of paper that says that. There you, you know, go. Done. If, if they really want a sea rock, they can join the Victoria Local Black, Black Moon Moon. Squadron League. Yeah. You play at least four league games and you qualify for the playoff tournament in July at the end of July and uh, first place prize is a Sea Rock. Sea Rock Cruiser. Among other things. Yep. So now Jess is going to re-roll one of her uh, defense dice because uh, Captain Rex yep. oh! <laughs> <laughs> Knock him. takes the one damage and is now dead. Yep. Bam! Cool. How much time is left? Total hero. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes left. Okay. 22-ish. Cool. All right, um, that's that. We sweep tokens, and we set some maneuvers. And so I lament my poor flying. Oh, my tokens. Well, I guess I don't need that T70 dial anymore. Don't need that dial. These things can go a little bit faster. And, uh, Miranda regenning. So this is where it becomes apparent to everyone how poor a pilot I am at times. This is why I often fly like two or three ships at most because uh, if I get more than that, I just can't seem to keep control of them all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do nothing first because you're gonna go first. Ha <laughs> ha! forgot i haven't even shot at that dude yet have i nope it's just been like you know what people just underestimate you when you're a z95 and you can just take shots at everyone the bandit yep the kid the bandit and i'm gonna take uh a right here on senior biggs ah, you guys are just obsessed with his mustache i swear i just <laughs> Um, Most times when I play Biggs in the squad, he's the last ship to die if I lose. And, you know, he, he takes a lot of hits. He goes down to like one or two health. And then he, he gets out of formation, you know, spends time shooting at things. And then you know, he's, he's the last one. But I he really doesn't like flying ships. And I really want to help him move on. To you want him just to get him into something place. different. Yeah. So Rex is going to K turn three. He's oh, done. You, you finally got rid of your stress. No, right? So I can K turn and turn around. Um, gonna do Thane, who's gonna do a turn two. Uh, can you shoot? Well, it looks like you will. I'm hoping. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna get to Mark. Oh, there you go. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. Um, this is definitely on the base. Oh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Uh, he is going to focus. And then Biggs. Go ahead and flip him over Boop. for me. He's going to turn two as well, which should be enough. Yeah. Boop. Yeah, he likes it. He's the guy. Now Biggs is going to take a target lock. A target lock? Yeah. Not a focus. Interesting. Okay. And then Miranda is doing the same move that she's been doing for the past several <laughs> She's just going to keep going around and around and around. So what you're saying is uh, she's a big fan of NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, a lot of people give NASCAR a hard time. I've never been a fan, but... You know, I can understand. It, it's, like if, if it takes skill to drive that fast among, among other cars. Yeah, like you... Especially, they're always moving. You're not in a lane. You're just that itself is stressful and you're trying to win and you're driving for like what like five hours eight hours ten hours well, sometimes yeah it depends on the number of laps and it's stuff, ridiculous right? so it's, it's it's an endurance race so i'm going to take a focus here yep 
And then start of combat. I'll take care of that. Another focus. focus. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna do some shooting. And I'm gonna shoot at Biggs. With right. my I should. Turret. I should have taken a focus. And it is obstructed. I forgot that Thane doesn't have an arc. Um. It is obstructed. Yes. It, yeah. You're I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm no, I don't think it is close to the closest. Well, if I look I think at your ship on a 90 degree plane, when it gets to the closest oh, point you're right. of the line... It's right there. You're right. Okay. So I'm spinning a shield to roll four dice on my okay. first attack. And I'm going to spin my target lock. Wow. Because I can. Yep. Because that's a good idea. Yeah, and see? Three see? Dice. Now I'm going to get three dice in return. And uh, I get one evade, so that's one damage on Biggs. Okay, and then uh, my second shot. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend my focus for Four two, two hits. If not for me, and for two hits. And two oh, evades. yeah, two evades. So awesome. He's alive. He is alive and uh, does not get to sure uh, do his thing. So Biggs now is going to shoot at the hero there. The hero. Three dice, because it's just outside range one. Is it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, did you already measure? No, I eyeballed. I just happened to be really lucky at my eyeballing. So there's two, and I will spend my target lock. There's a double A of the third to get three hits. And I got nothing. Nice. But I don't think Thane has an arc. However, he's in an arc. He is. Rex does have a range three. So two dice from Rex. Uh, one hit. That's Ooh, three that dice. could be enough. Oh, oh the one squiggle. Nice. All right, wow, he really is a hero. Uh, I get my attack back. Yep. Two damage would kill Biggs. Yep. Oh! You only roll one of those. Oh, that's right. Suppressive fire. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. That's fine. Ah, still one. hit. Come on, come on, Biggs. Come on, Biggs. Oh! I integrated Astromech and canceled. All right, no more regen. No more regen on Biggs. That stuff is over. Uh, I will... Oh, it doesn't matter. Because I don't have you in arc anyway, so I can't, so I shed that. And I get to set some maneuvers. Okay. Damn. All right. All right, end of combat. I'm going to put that back on range. And Miranda's going to end up... A lot of people, a lot of people I talk to about this. the... Uh, I, I've been playing Dash Render for a while. Yeah. Competitively. And... Uh, I used to like the whole Kane and Super Dash thing. Yep. It's really, really maneuverable. That's well, pretty decent. But um, so far, uh, lately I've been favoring the, the Lone Wolf Dash mm. with Ray Crew. And uh, a lot of people think that you can't slow roll them enough in order to get enough focus. But I find getting like two focus on a Ray at the start of a game. Two is enough. It really is enough. That's that, I have found that as well. If you can get three, that would be ideal. But two will get you through most tight circumstances. And especially if you can get out into the mid game and, you know, if you hadn't had a chance to rebuild your focus back up, getting out, uh, out and around in the mid game can be important. We still got a frickin' cluster bomb. Or a cluster mine. Uh, and that's a little worrying, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Your dude first. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, I'm going to take a focus token. Because focus token. Go one straight. Yeah. All right, I will. Uh, I'll do Captain Rex first. Who's going to do a bank two? Right up in Buddy's face. Shed his strip. Shed 
stress. Uh, he's gonna take a focus. And this one's for Jess! Uh, and then Thane is gonna do a turn two. How much time is left? Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it, it says there. Right now, Stickus is winning. Point wise, anyway. Not for a whole lot longer, I don't feel. So there's Thane. Uh, Thane is going to acquire oh, nothing. Acquire nothing. He's going to focus. Oh, no, I used that. Yeah. And then Biggs is going to attempt a K turn four. I think you're yeah. gonna hit Rex there, because you you have it think, canted to yeah, the side. I do. Uh, if you if you would be so kind, sir. Yeah, I, I think you might be right there about Bonk and Rex. Oh snap! Yeah, overlaps in there. Yep. Okay, so I don't fit back there at all. I think you just kind of go in. I think I Ooh. do a basically a. Damn, it ends up being a forward one into freaking Thane with a stress. Well, that was bollocks. I thought Rex was going to give him enough room. Oop. Okay, and then I'm right here. Mm -hmm. And I'll go in like this. Ooh, and then you're going to slam and drop that cluster mine. Don't really have anywhere to go that I could drop like. Well, straightforward, right? Maybe another two. No, I don't want it. You could accidentally blow up your own bandit. No, I don't want it. Okay. I will instead target lock bigs. Okay. Okay, let's start with combat. I've got uh, range one primary shot on bigs, which I will take. Mm -hmm. And I've got three dice. So I get two. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cover shield. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you see what's happening afterwards. And I'm going to spend my target lock to reroll. So, yeah, Miranda takes the D. And then a focus. For two. For two hits. Okay. And Biggs is going to get one and take one. And explode. And explode. After he dies, Thane is going to trigger his thing, and he's going to reacquire a target lock on Miranda. Okay. I guess that's done now. Now that's gone. Okay. Um, Rex is going to try and wreck the hero here. He's going to Rex him. <laughs> Get Rexed! Nice. A hit, a crit, and I'll spend the focus to make it two hits and a crit. Oh, that's going to be him dead. Yep. That was enough. So the suppressing fire falls off. There's your focus token. Yeah, I'll spend my focus token here and damage the engine after it's dying. Oh. So, like, <laughs> just, just damaging your engine is kind of. That's, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, and then Thane is going to do four dice. You're not going to do this outside battle mode, right? I guess not. Yep. Yeah. So, Thane is going to do four dice into Miranda. Yep. Oh. Apparently, throw dice outside. It was a hit. Yeah. All right, so there's two hits and a focus and a, a hit, blank. A hit and a crit. Uh, now, I'm going to spend the target lock to re-roll the blank. Nice. And spend the focus to make it three hits and a crit. What a vague. Woo, two hits and a crit. So two shields and then a crit against the hull. Thrust control fire. Receive one stress token. Puts it face down. Eh. And I spent my focus. There we go. All right, that is that.
Oh man. All right. And now. God's Rex, where are you going, buddy? So we're at a critical juncture. I could start flying and slamming. Mm-hmm. Or or I could try to beat you. <laughs> the fun way. So run the clock, or. Cons considering I took an outer rim smuggler, I don't think I'm gonna try to run away to win. <laughs> I'm not making. The you most you did choose hard mode. At I, this I'm point, not making so. the most competitive. Yeah, she died before anything really happened. Yeah. Well. And honestly, lost, lost it, you flew her like you, you flew her immediately, like you would have dashed, because you were like, "Yeah, large space ship. I'm gonna." Oh yeah, wait, was, they don't like rocks. I was role playing. She's pilot skill one. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. The lever takes me left. Oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, when I pressed down, it went forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got we got like eight and a chunk minutes left so yep. we could just we'll, we'll roll it out we'll roll it out okay let's do this where are you guys going though because oh uh, yeah you still got that damn cluster mine gotta watch out for that Maybe would that be would that be cool? Yeah, it might be cool. Be cool. Be cool, Thane. You got this, Thane. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna do Rex first. He's gonna do a turn two. Turn two. Classic. Just because I'm really have no idea where you're going, and uh, he's just gonna take an evade. I was hoping you might be coming this way. Oh, all right, there's Thane. all this free space over here. And then Thane is going to do a straight four. What? It's too bad he's not Braylon. <laughs> I know, stress. right? Do a straight four and drop his stress immediately. I, I agree with you that I think Braylon is, a more, is the more competitive of the two as an arc pilot. I'm going to need that four forward. No worries. And for anyone who flies K-Wings, you might be thinking, insanity. Insanity? What's he doing with a 4-4? K-Wings four four don't have a 4-4, four four, but, you know, I have more of these little tricks. So, a 2 and then a slam. No. No? Just oh, this is just straight. a 2. That's right. Because each, each movement length is one ship base, one small ship base. So if you have a ship directly in front of you, you don't have to mark it if you're doing... A three speed or lower yeah because you can factor in what your speed is plus you know one ship base plus another ship base yeah doing a two four to use a four template on the side yep so I shed my stress because it was a green maneuver yep and then I'm going to take a focus token Ooh. focus token okay all right, and then start of combat. Okay. I'm going to start shooting things. You betcha. Three dice into Rex. And I want to... Watch this wreck him. <laughs> I would laugh so hard. Well, you probably can't kill me outright because I took my evade token this turn, but... And you're all three dice. TLT mm -hmm. right here. Oh, and snap. It's okay. it's obstructed. It is because corner. Okay. Uh, so, so first one, nothing. Nothing. Okay. And then next one, I'm gonna recover a shield. So two, two dice. dice. One. Okay. And it's obstructed, so I get two. And there's a squiggle, so he takes nothing. Okay. Uh, Rex has no shot. I have a range three, rear arc obstructed. Range two. Oh, is it two? Oh, nice. All right. So. Two dice. Uh, crit turns or uh, focus turns to a crit. So there's a hit, and the focus turns into a crit. Okay, and I've got two dice. Good job, Braylon. And or not Braylon, Thane. Jeez. One evade. So I lose that shield I just recovered. <laughs> God damn it! And in combat, I'm gonna bank that focus for later. Yep. I'll be a little bit better off in the future. So in Oh, and technically, when you shot Rex, I should have Thane or used Thane to pick up a target lock. I never shot at Rex. I shot at Thane. 
You shot at Thane? Oh, that's right. You did shoot at Thane. Why did I think you were? Gonna, or why did I think you shot at Rex? Because apparently I'm just focused on Rex. Because you, you wanted me to shoot at your TIE fighter with an evade token. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Is that not a great tar uh, target right there? <laughs> all right. Let's see here. All right. All right. All right. All right, Rex. Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing either, so stop asking me, Rex. I just turned it to a random maneuver, okay? I hope you can execute that. Don't be such a tweenie. <laughs> if we weren't such a weenie, Rex, we wouldn't be making fun of you. Alright. Okay. Go. Rex is going to do a turn one. A turn one. Whoop, whoop. What is going on? I, I just don't even know. Well. And then uh, try to barrel roll, maybe? Doop. There you go. Right into your front guns. And it's like, excuse me, excuse me. This solar panel needs to go right here. All right, and then Braylon's going to turn two. Sorry, Thane. God, I got Braylon on the brain now. I wish you were Braylon! <laughs> got him on the Braylon. <laughs> okay. Oh. I don't know why you thought I was going to do a 1 4. I don't know. It seemed like a possibility to me at the time. It seemed plausible. I should have just done, kept my one turn. I am going to use my cluster mine. You sure are. I thought you were going to one turn and just leave it there. Uh, that's two of them going off immediately on Rex. Yeah. So I'm going to so, grab these. This will go. And I'll, uh, I'll template Rex so you can. No, play, no. You know, that way you can place the middle one at okay, least. Okay, yeah. You're right. You're right. So. And so that one can place. Right in front of me. Next turn. All that. Do you want to do a one turn next turn? Oh, completely. Are you kidding me? I'm like magnetically drawn to this thing now. I'm going to barrel roll onto it even. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the thing I don't get extra damage from Sabine because Sabine's no, dead. No, Sabine's dead. So, uh, but two dice and two hits. Oh, goddamn Rex. What the hell is this shit? All right. One, two hits. More. And. Oh, hitting a, hit a crit! Ow! Ow! Uh, there's Ow! So oh, sorry, hit, and then the crit, which is direct hit <laughs> overkill! Five damage. Man. Overkill, there you go, don't I smashed it. it, oh my god! Don't actually break your mouth. He's fine, he's fine, <laughs> he's fine. Yeah, this is not Iron Man. We don't have to, like, smash each other's ships to smithereens when we lose them. I've never heard of that. that uh, it, it was originally, I think, a magic format, where if a creature dies or you destroy somebody's card, you actually pick it up and destroy it. Oh, that would be terrible. So. Alright, so instead of combat, I'm going to take a focus token. Yep, and stack that onto Ray. No, I'm going to fight you with it. What? I didn't slam. Oh, it. that's right. Uh, so I'm going to use Twin Laser Turret. Mm hmm. And I'm going to roll three dice. Mm hmm. So it, you'll notice that whenever I recover shields, I always roll two dice on my second hit. Yes. Um, this only matters if you have modifications. Yep. And if I'm rolling an extra die, spending a shield, I'll roll it on my first hit. That way, if, uh, if, if you have I a have the opportunity lock. to modify my attack, um, it's I'm going to be tempted to use it on my better roll. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm rolling my weaker attack first and I get like two focuses, I might be like, yeah, I'll spend it. But then like later I could get three. You could get three or four. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bank that focus. I'm just gonna spend it. Yeah, spend it. Two hits. Okay, that's guaranteed. One. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna recover another. And so that's well, one on Thane. Yep. A shield. And uh, I have no focus. Nope. So just the okay. one damage actually. So just one dial left. And then where's the last metal dice? Uh, in my hand. Sorry, I just rolled it. Yes. I sound Scottish. It's my Canadian heritage. We there's many, many bits of Europe smashed into me. And he he took his kilt and he sewed it into some pajama pants. Yep, pajama kilt. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, so I have no more bombs. Nope, it's all TLT action at this point. All of my tricks are gone. Well, most of my tricks are gone now, too, so... You know what, and, uh Oh, uh, looks like timer ran out, so we'll call this last turn. Okay, we'll call this last turn. You just want to try and destroy me. I'm going to try. Damn right, so I'm going to give it the, the old college try. It's some major gonna explosions and direct hits. A bank, hits. too. I know, direct hit and double major... Expl or, uh, sorry, uh, major yeah. explosion and double direct hits coming up. You never went to college. What? Yeah, so what's that? What? How can you give us a college try? Everybody can give a college try. The point I'm making is that you didn't. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I was using okay. it for bombs. So I'm going to acquire a target lock on you. Oh, man. All right. Make you re-roll those hits, sucker. Uh, Turn two towards me, huh? It's probably going to be not very effectual, as we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I do know. Because I'm going to slam out of your arc. You are. And with that, I will say good game, sir. Yep. Yep. Damn. <laughs> uh, yep, I... I still definitely made the some mistakes, but at is, least I remembered. The chat is raging. They wanted to see the explosions and the damage. Everyone's falling asleep by now. Ah, uh, thanks, Cryptomeria. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Wow, twelve live viewers. That's uh, that's a concurrent record for us. I think for the most part. I think I think the most we've had previously was like fifteen for uh, some of our competitive events. So I've seen it's nice to see seventeen or nineteen viewers on your stream. Shit. Sometimes when I've been watching it. So uh, it's nice. It's still nice to have twelve live views. That's great. Yeah. So thanks everybody for watching. Um. Right, so I gonna... think this list it just I need to put it away for a while and revisit it in the upgrade in that modified version that you and I were talking about on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, do, you, do you want to tell uh, your viewers about the modified version? Um, yeah, so some of the modifications were to swap Fane for um, uh, Braylon instead uh, with the uh, more of the stress bot build on Braylon. So R3A2 and Tactician, yep. which saves you two points, yep. allowing you to take uh, M9 Pattern M9. Analyzer yep. on Pava. Yep. I think yeah. I then fit um, M9G8 on her instead. You guys are doing a second or, game. Or right? M9G8 yeah. instead of that, so she loses adaptability. So you guys are doing a second game, right? Yes, we are yep. doing a second game. And then, uh, and then Biggs and, and what? Are you using a fancy deck? Yeah, he's using my... Yeah, uh, yeah. So in case you guys didn't notice, so this is the... Uh, system open series damage deck that uh, other red five uh, got for going to the Endor open. Yeah, that's right, the Endor yeah. open at uh, Emerald City Comic Con. It was a fantastic event. He got a beautiful mat and this beautiful damage deck and uh, did uh, did fairly well for himself. For, for my first my first premier event, I felt pretty oh, good. Yeah. Are you using it in the second match too? Probably. Cool. So. Uh, yeah, so the modifications are, are also taking the uh, taking R five P nine off of Biggs and instead replacing him with the uh, R four D six. Thank you. That uh, reduces the overall attack dice. It loads a bunch of stress on him, but uh, with the high alpha strike potential of a lot of builds nowadays, it's better to reduce overall damage on that big alpha than regen over time. Yeah. Uh, so the, the effect of lowering Biggs by two points and Fane to Braylon gaining two points is that you can change Jess's Astromech to M9G8 so you still have it on your squad and then giving her a pattern analyzer so she can get her focus tokens even when she K-turns or Talon rolls. Exactly. So it frees up her action economy which makes her a more useful member of the squad as well. So I, I think this was a neat uh, concept. I really don't think I'm going to take this thing to 10, uh, 10 flights because... Uh, Five losses out of seven. Um, yeah, it's time to put it away. So I have some other lists that I've been flying. We'll fly those uh, in the second game here. Uh, we're going to take a short break and uh, change up some lists and uh, probably make some tea. And then we will see you guys again uh, after the break. Uh, for those of you watching the archive, thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Uh, don't forget to check out the Stardust series. Link in the description down there. Go and sign up. Buy your tickets now. Worth every penny.
There are some beautiful prizes up for grabs, including these gorgeous, gorgeous metal dice that we were rolling all evening. All right, do you have anything else? Not at all. Good, I'm awesome. Let's to the next game. Right on. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit.